Okay, I can show everybody. All Let's right, here we go. Ready, Tommy boy? Yep. Bam. Oh, okay. It's actually not that crazy. It's not that crazy. Okay. I'm sorry. What is that? 1.5? There's nothing there. Just ignore it. I didn't do a 1.5 this week. Okay. 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 Um. So just a cleric, uh, clerical error, clerical okay. error. Okay. All right. So let's let's go back here. All right. Uh. Oh, I'm sorry. Nope. Didn't see that. Number five. Is that the avalanche? <laughs> no, that's the the Carolina Hurricanes. You see how much I watch hockey? Just go cracking. Boop. Anyway. Um, so you have the Carolina Hurricanes, and it looks like maybe a Chiefs logo with a small X on top of it. Yeah, yeah. I, you, the Chiefs have just been sitting at five, basically, all season. And somebody DM'd me and said, you know what? You should put the Hurricanes at, at five uh, because they have more wins than the Panthers. I said, why, you know what? I like that. Why would the Panthers even be in the top 10? They haven't won a game. They wouldn't. But I'm just – the Panthers are so bad that the, they their hockey team – I believe it was after, like, one game. Already more wins than the Panthers. So So I just want to be clear. Okay, first Oops, of all, that's why an old are the one. Packers still in hell? They okay, I was gonna say. I was gonna say. I was like, we Look, I, I keep putting Justin Fields in heaven and it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Justin Fields. Eleven, it just says none. The Eagles are not even in the top ten anymore. <laughs> no, I got I, I just got mad six? at the Eagles. Are they at six? And the, the Jets are taking Yep. Why are seven the Rams? The Rams are good, dude. I'm. I think the Rams might be ready to go on a tear. Oh my god, I can't. I hold on. No, you need to go back. You need to go back because every time I see it, it gets worse. No, well, okay. look. Let's just go to the top five real yeah. here, right okay. here. Dolphins? You got Lions at one. I got Dolphins yeah. at one. We flip cool. flop. That's yep, flip flop. That's cool. The... Both got, got Niners at uh three yes now i put the jags up at four i am and we talked about this monday because you had like them real jags low defense. you we had like the jaguars that, real low last week real low jagging off them jagging jags jagging off and they're jagging off at number four they are jagging off at four play some might say tom now they play thursday night so i am assuming they're gonna lose and make me look dumb but uh Defense is solid. Yes, defense Trevor Lawrence is very playing good. better. Travis Etienne's a big part of the offense. Uh, we haven't talked about Jacksonville's like receiving core for a while, and I think mm -hmm. we're going to see Calvin Ridley. Somebody's going to go off, and we're going to be like, "Dang, Jags are good at every single level." Mm -hmm. I talked about their defensive coordinator uh, quite a bit in the episode. Um, so their deep, like again, I'm very, very like impressed with how their defense that's amazing yeah. and and rightfully so eighth grade middle school it makes sense yeah, yeah i think oh. middle school teachers should be allowed to say whatever they want to the kids mm -hmm. threaten them i agree i agree yeah. um okay so four and six it's not too bad you have a hockey team uh yeah five, i mean so technically it's the chiefs but i'm like you know what i'm not even i don't even want to put the chiefs in there until they beat the broncos 17 times in a That's row. That's true. You don't have Taylor Swift in your top 10. No, I do not. Did you put her in yours? No. But I I don't put hockey teams in mine, Brandon. Are you so it makes... oh. All right. Let's talk about the Rams at seven for a second. You got the Browns at seven, which is a little high. I put them at nine. I put them at seven just because like they their defense is that good. And the fact they were able to win with PJ Walker, I was like, you know what, guys? I don't know how long you're gonna be on this list. Go ahead, just go up there. Yeah. Just if their defense stays at this rate, though, they will be a playoff team. And if Deshaun Watson can stay healthy, they're gonna win a lot of football games. Sure. Um because he's he started to play better before he got hurt. Here's my concern with the Browns. It's like as soon as he started to play better, he got hurt. And I feel oh. like yeah. He's going to come back and he's going to be worse again. I like for me to buy into Cleveland like fully as like it may be a Super Bowl team. I've got to see Watson play well for like multiple weeks in a row. Yeah. And we have not seen that since he's been with Cleveland. He hasn't had like a lot of games in a row to do it. But uh, that defense is so good right now. And I, I watched 
I think it was Chris Long talking about Jim Schwartz and why their defense is playing so well. Mm -hmm. And he was saying like Schwartz runs like a really simple defense. He just lets his playmakers make plays. His 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 edge rushers just go after the quarterback because he's got uh you know the personnel on the the back end to to cover. And it's very similar to the way Wade Phillips coached his defenses. It's like we're not going to do anything fancy. We got the the guys to do it, and we're just going to be aggressive, and we're not doing anything crazy. We're just going to beat you. Well, someone was also saying too. Um... There was a stat, I think it was from Sunday night or Monday night. There was a super chat that was talking about how Schwartz's like defenses like match up really, really well against Shanahan's offenses. Like, yeah, he's really, like one, really well. Shanahan's like one yeah. and eight against Schwartz. Yeah, exactly. Which is like interesting. And you would think like more would then get into that. Daniel, that'd be wonderful. Uh, the thing is like sports is all privatized now. So like they're never going to let them see that. So yeah, I would love it. But no, there's just priorities in society. So. <clears throat> Um, yeah, no, I understand that. I think the Browns for me, like nobody anticipated. And it was such like a damn, you know what? Like this is an impressive win. And I know a lot of things like went wrong for the 49ers. So that's why I had them up like where they were. Nice. So I love how you have the entire AFC North in purgatory. And I'm honestly not even going to fight you on that. Yeah. I'm not going to fight you. <laughs> My take was like, I love a, a team that has a good defense but I do not like an, an entire division that is basically only good defense. And the, the Bengals probably have the best chance to have the most complete team. Um, yeah, they're they, maybe they the Ravens, but like, you know, that division, like all of those games, I just feel like are always so ugly. And I'm just like, no, they in are. this week specifically, I think there was somebody posted like in terms of the amount of points that were scored, it was like the lowest since yeah. like 2013 or something in a week. I don't know. And like the Steelers want to buy and then every other team in the AFC North yeah. won. Yeah. It was just like, it was tough, 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 tough games.